Welcome everybody to round four of the Twisted 360 Sprint Cars coming from the Virtual Lernerville Speedway. We got some heavy hitters again tonight. Sorry, y'all, I'm having some technical difficulties here. I'm not quite sure where that came from, but I do apologize for that. All right, sorry about that, chat. Having a little bit of technical difficulties tonight, but like I said, we are at the Lernerville Speedway for the round four of the Twisted 360 Sprint Cars. We're going to hit right into heat, race, uh, heat racing now. We got heat race number one lining up. It's going to go this way. Starting our poles going to be Matt Kirk coming out of Phantom Motorsports in the two car. Outside of him is going to be Ross Cornetta, another Phantom Motorsports. Looks like he's the number 15 tonight. He should be the number 10. Start third, Tyler Vandekamp in the 51. Outside of him is going to be Chance Kozowski in the seven car, or 47 car. And technical difficulties, it shows my name in there tonight. That is not correct. I do apologize. iRacing is playing with me tonight. But then on the our starting in my position, going to be Devin Butts in the 47 car. Then outside of him is going to be Caleb Durgan rounding out the seven car field for heat race. Number one is going to be Grant Wesley. Eight laps of distance, top uh let me double check my notes here. It's been a little while here. I had a vacation or coming back, trying to get back into the swing of things. But top six are going to transfer in out of our 10-car field. We're going to um, The rest will move on to a B-Main tonight if we do need a B-Main. I'm not sure if we will or not. Uh, but uh, we're going to get rolling here. We got action pack crowd tonight. We got plenty of drivers ready to rock it around Lernerville. Remember, chat, Lernerville does not have... A actual wall going around the back so these guys can fly off and Lord knows where, where they're gonna end up there's gonna be plenty of slipping and sliding all the way around this track tonight these guys got to be prepared for to be ready for that car to handle like it will but it's gonna get interesting tonight I am all by myself because the big bacon Casey Souch is gonna be racing himself tonight in Lernerville Represent Nature H Motorsports. Make sure you guys go check him out. Big Bacon Gaming as well. See Ricky Bobby Imbus also going to be racing tonight. Uh, make sure you check him out too. Thank you guys everyone for coming in and watching the race with us tonight on Red River Valley iRacing Leagues page or Big Bacon Media. Welcome, welcome. Glad to have you guys here. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully you're ready for some wild racing just like I am. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be wild. It's going to sizzle. It's the Twisted. 360 sprint cars. Pace truck caution lights are out on it. He pulls off on the back stretch here. We're going to go green flag racing next time by your leader, Matty Crook, going to look for the green fabric to fly. Green flag. Green oh, flag. he gets loose there. That's not how I think he planned on that taking out. Chance Kozowski hops up into the lead to heat race number one. Caleb Durgan looking at the inside of Matt Croak at the two card. Throws it down to the bottom. Matt Croak way up high. Caleb Durgan keeping it down on the bottom. Doesn't have enough momentum to get that spot back. Matty Croak holds on to second spot. We'll see if Caleb changes up his driving style here as we get moving on. He's going to have a battle on the outside of Grant Wesley in the 88 car. Three wide battle for third. Able to keep it all straight. Matty Croak trying to defend that second spot for Caleb Durgan. Caleb gets loose, loses a lot of momentum. Devin Butts and Grant Wesley fly by. Devin Butts in the 13 car, uh, mind me. Sorry about that. Throws it up on the top. Right by Matty Croak on the outside. Next time by, they're going to get the uh, cross flags halfway down. Halfway to go. Chance Kozowski is going to have a battle too wide for the lead. He race number one. Devin Butts on the outside. Matt Croak gets into the wall, flips over. Devin Butts still side by side with your leader, Chance Kozowski. Is he going to be able to have enough this time? He has the mustard. He drives right away from him. Halfway down, have to go. Chance Kozowski falls back to second. Your new leader, Devin Butts, in the 13 car. Looks like old Matty Croak did retire the car for this race. There are no cautions in our heat racing here tonight. Tough go of it, but he will have a chance to move on a little bit later. Oh, and Chance Kozowski catches the wall against Caleb Durgan. Oh, my goodness. These guys are having a tough time trying to keep those cars under control. 
Grant Wesley moves up into second now. Tyler Vandekay on up to third. If Caleb Durgan can keep it rolling for one more lap, he will come home fourth tonight. Your leader, Devin Butts, going into turn number three and four for the final time. Heat race number one, going to be your winner for the race. Not a bad run. He had that high line working for him. A little bit of a rough goal for a couple of the guys here. Matty Crook and Chance Gazowski find that wall coming off of turn number four. Not exactly how I think they wanted to have that one go. Rough goal of a heat race number one. This is the way it's going to finish out. Devin Butcher, winner. Grant Wesley coming home second. Tyler Vandekamp third. Caleb Durgan fourth. Chance Gazowski fifth. Matt Croak sixth. And Ross Cornetta back to seventh. We got heat race number two getting it ready to pull out onto the track. Starting on pole, Jamie McCarron out of Australia. Outside of him is going to be Robert Jarrett in the 64 car. Greg Chandler going to be starting third. Another out of Australia with Chris Sabaske in that 21 starting fourth. Starting fifth, Jason Gunnels in the four car. Outside of him, Kenny Miller in the 23. Casey Big Bacon Sandwich going to be starting seventh. That 27 car outside of him, Chad Cote in the 11. Heat race number two about to head its way out onto the track. Little bit of an interesting start, especially for heat race number one. Captain Spangler from the Lernerville Safety Crew watching. That's awesome. Glad you're here. Appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully you enjoy the show. I know it's not real racing, but by God, we're going to try and put on the best show as if it was real racing. So hopefully you enjoy. All right, we got one more lap around with the pace truck. The caution lights will go out this time. Then we're going to go back. Green flag racing. Again, thank you to everyone that has come out to watch the race tonight. These guys do appreciate it. They love showing off what they can do in a virtual race car. And some of us, we want to race, but just don't have the funding for it. So we got iRacing to re uh, replace the need. So we're going to do everything we can to put on one hell of a show as if it was a real race car. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. Thank you very, very much for being here. Your leader going to be Jamie McCarron in that two car sitting on pole. Right behind him, Greg Chandler, another Aussie coming to us with the Red River Valley iRacing League. Put on a hell of a show with these guys the last couple of weeks. Let's see what they can do. Coming out of turn green, number green, four. Green. On that go pedal, back green flag racing, heat race, number two underway. And to turn number one, Jamie be able to pull out into the lead. Greg Chandler in the second. Robert Charette fighting back on the outside, but he's going to have a bottle on the inside. Chris Sabaske, the 21, sends him off of turn three. Chris Sabaske falls off the corner as well. Casey Big Bank and Savage moves up into third. Battle for the lead, though, is between Jamie McCarron and Greg Chandler. Greg looking low in the 94 car. Jamie up high. Who's going to have enough mustard to get around the corner? Robert Charette sitting on the outside of the corner there. Out of traffic, we stay green. Jamie pulls out to bow, oh, and he gets loose. I spoke too soon, but lucky, lucky here. Kenny Miller making his way up into the fight. Phantom Motorsports making his presence known in heat race number two. Kenny started in back all the way up into second now. Looking to try and take that lead away from your leader, Jamie McCarron, in that two car. This time by, cross flags, halfway down, have to go. Jamie gets a little loose off of turn number four. They're able to keep it under control, but Kenny Miller drops to the bottom. Able to hold on to that grip. Is he going to have enough buster to go? Gets loose. Nope, not this time. Slides back into second. Greg Chandler is under attack by Big Bank and Casey Sounds. The 27 three wide at the line. Jack Cote on the outside. Oh, no. Greg Chandler flips it back on all four. He keeps rolling. Chad Cote now fighting for that third spot with Casey Big Bacon. Chad Cote has the advantage this time coming down the back stretch into turn number three and four. Bacon gets a little loose on exit. Going to sacrifice a little bit of time. Two to go this time. Back up front, though. Kenny Miller has made the lead change. Gets a nice little nudge from Jamie McCarron in that two car, letting him know that he's there side by side coming out of turn number four. This time, Kenny Miller still advantage. White flag in the air. One to go in heat race number two. Jack Cote looking to tackle Jamie McCarron in that two car. Jack Cote down looking underneath. Last time to get it done. Is he going to have enough mustard? Side by side out of turn four. Not enough this time. Jamie McCarron's going to come home second. That was a much more action packed heat race, if you, if you agree. That was fun to watch, y'all. These guys put on a hell of a show each and every single week, so. I know it's going to get wild. I know it's going to get crazy. It's time to go dirt track racing. 
Heat race number two is going to end up like this. Kenny Miller coming home. Your winner, Jamie McCarron, second. Chad Cote, third. Casey Biggs, Bacon, Salich coming home, fourth. Greg Chandler falls back to fifth. Chris Sabaski, sixth. Jason Gunnell, seventh. And Robert Charette falls back to eighth. So Jason and Robert will be moving on to the B main tonight. They do have a chance, but we're going to move on to heat race number three. C. Ricky Bobby Imbus going to be starting off pulling that 24K car, car. Outside of him, Jason Hayes in the 26. Starting third, Dalton Hayden in the 989. Jonathan Lee going to be starting fourth from HRH Motorsports. Thomas B. Mitchell going to be starting fifth. Coming out of Australia, Patrick Spangler going to be starting sixth. Stephen Fernberg, seventh, and Robert Satterfield is going to be starting eighth out of Phantom Motorsports. It's going to get interesting, y'all. Heat race number three going to make its way out onto the track. Old C. Ricky Bobby Imbus. Get to see the man, the myth, the legend right there, y'all. He's finally gotten his profile up. It's going to get interesting. Hopefully, you guys are ready to rock and roll just as much as I am. I know I'm excited. I'm just coming back from vacation. I've had two weeks off here. It's time to get back to the action. Definitely looking forward to this. Ooh, a little bit of touching already before we even take the green flag. We'll see if these guys can keep it under wraps until we at least get the green fabric to fly. Again, we thank you all. Sorry, I am having some technical difficulties tonight. Software does not want to cooperate. It wants to throw up stuff that ain't supposed to be there. Sorry about that. Either way, one more lap. Caution lights are going to go up on the pace truck this time. Pace truck will pull off off of turn number three. And we're going to get that green fabric to fly. Red River Valley iRacing League sponsored by Twisted Motorsports for the 360 Sprint Cars. There's money to win at the end of this season. We'll see who comes out on top on points during the championship race in Charlotte later on this year. Definitely going to be fun. Definitely going to be action-filled. Be sure to tune in each and every single week. Friday nights, we got the dirt streets and the supers. Tonight, we got the twisted 360s. Green, green, green. On that go pedal, see Ricky Bobby Evans taking off, trying to hold on to that top spot. Throws it down to the bottom, able to hold on to it, but he's got a battle, and he's going to lose it to Jason Hayes in that 1S car. Must be a Logan Shuhart fan, y'all. Jonathan Lee making his way into third spot right now. Dalton Hayden under attack, though, for a little bit farther back for Patrick Spangler. Patrick looking at the inside of Jonathan Lee now, able to hold it under control as he takes off down the back stretch. Stephen Fernberg able to make his way up into fifth. Dalton Hayden pulls off the track as we look at Robert Satterfield in the 55 car, looking to try and advance his position in heat race number three. These guys are putting on a hell of a show, but we got a new leader out front, Jonathan Lee in that 13 Dynamite Dunmeyer car. Able to hold on to that top spot, making that high line work in around C. Rick and Bobby Ambus. But looky, looky here, who's hunting around in third? Robert Satterfield making his way up there. It's going to be interesting. He's got half the race to go check our cross flags this time. Thomas B. Mitchell fighting old Patrick Spangler down on the bottom there, trying to take that spot away. He's going to get it this time. Steven Fernberg back to sixth, and behind him, Jason Hayes, and that was Logan Shuhart machine. Back up to our leader, though, Jonathan Lee, out to about a half-second lead over top, or up to a second lead, I apologize, over second place, see Ricky Bobby Embus. Robert Satterfield looking to steal second spot away. Let's see if he's going to have enough time. This time by two laps to go, heat race number three. Thomas Mitchell looking to enter his name into the half for his second spot here. We'll see as the action fit, or continues on here. Robert Satterfield dives it down to the bottom. See Ricky Bobby Emmis off the track. Oh, boy. White flag in the air. Now second place, Robert Satterfield. And Thomas B. Mitchell moves up into third. White flag, though, for your leader in that Mark Dynamite Dunmire Buffalo Wild Wings car. One of the Red River Valley's well-known drivers. This time is going to be your winner. Heat race number three goes to Jonathan Lee. Not a bad ending, not a bad ending. Hell of a race for a lot of these guys. Gonna get interesting, y'all. This is just the heat races. Heat race number three is gonna finish out like the up, up like this. Jonathan Lee gonna be finishing first. Robert Satterfield second. Thomas B. Mitchell third. C. Ricky Bobby Ambus finishes up fourth. Patrick Spangler the fifth. Steven Fernberg says. Sixth, Jason Hayes gonna hook him home. Seventh and eighth, Dalton Hayden in the 989. 
Looks like we're going to move on to warm-up, which only means one thing. Please stand up, remove your hats, put your hand over your heart. We got the American National Anthem coming up next. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hear at the twilight last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and Sting in air, gay proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner? Again, the big bacon for getting that recorded for us as we can use it for each and every single one of our races. We're very patriotic in this Red River Valley I Racing League. We hope you guys can understand that. No matter what your stance on politics are, we love our country. We always want to keep it in mind. Thanks again to everyone that has come out. We really appreciate you guys being here. We got warm ups going on for another about two minutes. These guys get to tear up the track a little bit, see what they want to do as time rolls through here. Robert Charette out there trying to find out what his car is going to be like for the feature event tonight. Chris Sebaske as well in the 21 car. Looks like tonight we are going to have at least 22 drivers out on the track, if not 23. Which means we are one car away from a full field this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, we want to give a special thanks out to each and every one of you guys coming out tonight to watch the racing. We cannot thank you enough. These drivers really appreciate it. They wanted to put on their talents out there for every each and every one to see show off hey we're here to have a little bit of fun we know what we're doing we want to put on a show this is why these guys wanted to do it and this is exactly why i wanted to start the league so with the help of big bacon and see ricky bobby Amos and myself we love to do the production for these guys each and every single week we cannot thank each and every one of them enough for coming out to show off the talents as well as have fun with you guys in chat we really appreciate all the support that we get from each and every one of you guys we cannot thank you enough uh, we, just, <laughs> we just hope you enjoy the racing action as much as possible as we try and put on the best possible show we can. These guys got another about 45 seconds left to warm up. Again, we want to reach out and say thank you again to our sponsor, Twisted Motorsports. Make sure you check them out on Facebook. Hell of a group of guys that have worked together with us so far this season. And very grateful for the purse at the end of the season for these guys to battle out, battle it out for each and every week. I'm telling you guys, we cannot thank you guys enough. This is just, this is awesome. The amount of support that we've got, the amount of drivers showing up each week, it's truly awesome to watch. We cannot be more and more happy about it. But, as I said at the beginning of the broadcast, this is the first track Red River Valley High Racing League has come to yet this season that does not have a wall around the entire track. That's a new enemy for a lot of these drivers to be able to keep their car on the track without flying off and losing a whole bunch of positions. So there's going to be a lot of things to watch here as we get ready 
to rock and roll as we're going to bring out the grid for the feature race round number four of the Twisted 360s. Again, presented by... Oh, what the... Hmm, that's weird. Sorry about that, y'all. For some reason, having technical difficulties here again. God, I'm having issues tonight. I do apologize. Bear with me for just a quick second here. Either way, all right, let's go ahead and get ready to rock and roll here as we're going to grid up for our feature race this evening. Starting on pole is going to be Devin Butts in the 47 car. Going to be outside of him, Kenny Miller in the 23. Starting third, Jonathan Lee in that 13 Dynamite Dodmeyer car. Outside of him, Grant Wesley in the 88. Starting fifth, Jamie McCarron in the two. Outside of him is going to be Robert Satterfield coming in out of Phantom Motorsports. These guys are ready to rock and roll. That's just the top six. It's a tight, packed field of a lot of talent. Tyler Vandekamp is going to be starting seventh outside of him. Chad Cote. Thomas B. Mitchell is going to be starting ninth outside of him. Caleb Sinnott Durgan going to be starting tenth. Big Bake and Casey Salich going to be starting eleventh tonight in that 27 machine. C. Ricky Bobby Embus, his teammate, going to be starting twelfth in the 24K car. Chance Kozowski going to be rolling off 13th tonight outside of him. Greg Chandler starting 15th. Patrick Spangler and Matt Croak going to be starting 16th. Chris Sebastian 17th. Steven Fernberg 18th. Ross Cunietta 19th. Jason Gunnels 20th. Jason Hayes going to be starting 21st. And don't mind me there, as I said prior, we were having technical difficulties tonight. Night Racing doesn't want to cooperate. I am not in this race. But moving up into my spot is going to be Dalton Hayden in the 989 and rounding out this 23 car field. Robert Schritt! All right, y'all. 30 laps of distance. One more time by, and these guys are going to go green for heat or feature race number four of 13 for the Red River Valley High Racing Lead. Twisted 360 Sprint Cars. Watching our leaders now, Devin Butts and Kenny Miller are going to be starting side by side. This time, Pace Truck pulls off. We're going green flag racing. And green flag, here green flag. We go. Gets a little bit of jump on the outside of Kenny Miller in the 23 car. We'll see if it stays green or if iRacing is going to change their mind on that one. But either way, Kenny Miller jumps out to the lead. Devin Butts falls back into second. Devin throws it down to the bottom, trying to get that lead back away from Kenny Miller. Not this time, though. Kenny's got the advantage at the line. Moving up to, oh, and we got a caution flag out on the track. Let's see what happened here. Might have been Chance Kozowski, according to this. Let's see, where is old Chance at here? There we go. There's Chance in the 47 up on the high line there. Oh, he gets loose, smacks the wall coming out of turn number four. He's able, oh, well. Yeah, he lands it back on all four. He'll be able to get back into the pits, get his car fixed back up, hopefully get him back out on the track. Rough start to the feature race this evening. As of right now, though, Kenny Miller's still your leader. Right behind him, Devin Butts in 13th car. Grant Wesley moves up into third. Jamie McCarron, fourth. And then fifth, Jonathan Lee in that 13 Dynamite Dodmeyer car. Chance Kozowski was able to make it into the pits. He'll get his car rep or repaired, get back out onto the track this evening. Rough go over there as they ended up catching that wall coming out of turn number four. Like I said, it's a new animal for some of these guys. It's not what they're used to. So, rough go of it, but it's all part of it. Let's see what these guys can do is we're going to get them lined up too wide again. Caution lights out on the pace truck. We're going green flag racing next time. Bye. Your leader, Kenny Miller, chooses the bottom line to start this restart. We'll see if that helps him out here as we're going to go green coming out of turn four this time. Green so flag, side, green Kenny flag. Miller and that go pedal back green flag racing. Grant Wesley gets a little bit into Jamie McCarron. And Jonathan Lee throwing it three wide down on the bottom. Moves a hard 
throw into turn number two, and we got Reckon behind. Jamie McCarron and Caleb Durgan, it looks like. It might have been Chad Cote as well. Oh, boy. This is going to throw a monkey wrench into some things here. Let's see if we can see what happened here. Uh, let's see. Chad Cote. No, that's a little bit too far back. Let's see here. We'll see if race control put someone to the back. Looks like from my view, it looked like Jamie McCarron might have had a little bit of contact, sent him down to the bottom, and he collected it looked like Chad Cote in the 11 and Caleb Durgan in the 17 car. Rough go of it here at the start of the race for these guys. We'll see if they can get a little bit settled down, give each other some room as we get moving on here. Definitely been an interesting one so far. Thank you to everyone that has stuck around with us. I know it's a little bit of a slow start. I promise we're going to get rolling here pretty soon. Hopefully we get a good green flag run in here shortly. Fingers crossed at least. Hang on, we're not going green. Yeah, it looks like we are going to delay the caution, get everyone lined up correctly here as we had a couple of guys go into the pits. Just bear with us here for a quick minute. Race control going to get these guys lined back up to where they're supposed to be. It looks like Chad Cote is going to be starting in the back there along with Caleb Durgan. We'll see who race control decided to penalize with that um, incident. Looks like Jamie McCarron has stayed in his spot, so I'm going to say there was some contact between him and someone else. But, we all know dirt track racing, you get into each other a little bit more than you'd like to half the time, so it's all part of it. Still your leader, Kenny Miller, and that 23 car out in him is going to still be Devin Butts in the 13. We'll see who can battle it out here, as I do believe Pace Truck's going to pull off this time. That it does. Going green flag racing green this flag, time. Kenny flag. Miller on that go pedal back. Green flag racing. Gets out to a good half second lead over second place. Devin Butts in the 13 car. Able to keep it under control. Both of them on the high line. Grant Wesley throwing it down to the bottom in the 88. But has a battle coming behind him with Robert Satterfield in the 55. And yellow, yellow, yellow. In the 13. And we got another caution flag coming out. Looks like Greg Chandler is going to be pinned with this one in the 94 car. Let's see what happens here. Two wide battle with him and Sebaske. Matt Croak, Big Bay can get into it. Oh, it looks like Sebaske come up on Greg Chandler. And Greg just happened to back it right off the track. Be able to get it right back on though, so he'll get lined back up here. We'll see what race control's decision is on that one. Again, to everyone that is here, we really appreciate you guys being here. Thank you very much. We appreciate all the support. To everyone that's new, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the Red River Valley I Racing League Twisted 360 Sprint Cars. This track with the pace truck coming all the way from the back of the pit, or pit area takes it a little bit to kick caught back up to these guys. These guys have to stop, and which... In real life, sprint cars do not stop, otherwise they need a push start, but this is iRacing, so we got to do the best we can. <laughs> Either way, we'll get them lined back up here again. I do believe we're going to have a single file restart after that one. See what we can get rolling here. It's Jonathan Lee, we're watching him sitting in fourth right now in that Dynamite Dodmire car. Looks like caution lights out on the pace truck. We're going to go green flag racing next time. Single file restart. Let's see if these guys can get a good green la or green flag lap session in here. We've got plenty of cars out on the track. We'll see if they each other can give each other some room and get some green la or green flag laps in here. Back up to our leader in the 23 car, Kenny Miller. Going to be looking for the green fabric to fly. Green flag, on green that flag. go pedal, drops it down to the bottom of the track. We're back green flag racing. Kenny hops out to about a half second lead over top of Devin Butts. Grant Wesley throwing it down to the bottom though. Tries to slide up. 
Devin Butts not going to let it happen this time. Grant still trying to make that bottom line work side by side. Coming out of turn number four. Advantage Wesley that time. Devin Butts trying to make that high line work. Grant gets a little loose coming out of turn number two. These guys have a nice battle going as we're going to pop back to Jonathan Lee and that Don and my Don Meyer car has a battle coming with Robert Satterfield in 55 right in front and then Thomas Mitchell in that 02 car. Thomas coming up outside of Lee this time. Lee still holds the advantage going into turn number three, but is he going to be able to hold it coming out of turn number four? Yes, he does. Great race between these guys. Ladies and gentlemen, the man, the myth, the legend that's normally in the booth with me out on the track tonight, Big Bacon, sitting in seventh right now as we get another caution out low. No, it looks like it's going to be pinned on C. Ricky Bobby Ambus here. There he is. Caleb Durgan right in front of him. C. Ricky Bobby Ambus in the 24K car. Looks like Dur Oh, I apologize. Oh, and... Uh, Ricky Bobby gets a bad bounce up into the fence, lands on all four. Should be able to get his car back in position though here. Rough go of it there. Who is in the Logan Shoehart machine? I cannot remember. These guys keep changing their paints on me and I can't keep up with them half the time. I want to say it was Jason Hayes. That it was. Jason Hayes got loose in turn three and four. Come down to collect C. Ricky Bobby Embus and puts him up into the fence. Rough go of it here, chat. We do apologize for all the cautions. We definitely want to put on a good green flag session for you guys. Let's hope we can get it set up this time. Looks like Hayes is going to get the EOL for that incident. We're going to move him to the back of the pack. There's a lot of work to do to catch up to the leader, Casey Miller, in that 23 car. Grant Wesley now sitting in second. Got around Devin Butts that last time. Caution lights out on the pace truck. We're going green flag racing next time. Bye. Kenny Miller still your leader. Right behind him, Grant Wesley in second. Devin Butts third. Robert Satterfield fourth. And in fifth, Jonathan Lee. That's your top five as pace truck pulls off. Kenny Miller on the green high line. Flag, on that flag. go pedal back out for green flag racing. Jumps out to about a three tenths of a second lead over second place. Grant Wesley. Grant throws it down to the bottom of that 88 machine. Is he going to have able to? Nope, not this time. He loses a lot of momentum coming up to the top out of turn number two. But has a battle now on the bottom. Devin Butts opened the door for him. But Vantage Wesley that time coming across the line, able to hold on to it. Devin gets a good wheelie going in turn number one there. Robert Satterfield still in for Jonathan Lee trying to make his way up into that position. We'll see if he's got anything for him as they come back to the line again. As I was saying, though, the man, the myth, the legend, Big Bank, and Casey Sailor to the 27 car has a battle on the inside from Matty Croak, not a fan of motorsports. Side by side down the back stretch, advantage Croak into turn number three. We'll see if Bacon's got anything for him. Croak slides up in front of him. Bacon says, nope, 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 not this time. Right on his hind end. And yeah, we got another caution flag out on the track. Looks like this one's going to be on Greg Chandler. That 94 car again. Coming down the back stretch has Cote right in front of him. And it looks like he just lost it there. A little bit of a rough go of it for old Greg Chandler here this race. Tough to see, but it's all part of it. We know some guys have an issue trying to keep the car on the track in these slick conditions. You get to see who can manage that throttle the best out of the group of drivers out on the track, especially when conditions are like they are. We do have those light speed John Deere tractors out here at the Virtual Learner Real Speedway. We did a little bit of track maintenance before warm up, but these guys really tore it up during the warm up session. So. Hopefully they can keep it under control and finish up this race. We're getting close to halfway. Not quite yet, but getting close. Still your leader, Kenny Miller in 23 car. Devin Butts now back into second. Got around Grant Wesley that last time. Grant opened up the door as he lost a lot of momentum hitting that bottom side, trying to get underneath Kenny Miller. Oh, it looks like Jason Gunnels is going to be pulling off for the race. Looks like the front end uh, had an issue tonight for him. 
I do believe this time Pace Track's going to pull off of the track. We're going to go back green flag racing. I do believe this time your leader, Kenny Miller, going to be looking for the green fabric to fly. And here we go. Green flag. Green, green flag, flag in the air. Kenny Miller back down to the bottom. Throws it down. Gets about another half second lead over second place. Devin Butts now. Grant Wesley throws it down to the bottom. Able to keep it under control as these guys fly it around the back stretch here. Couple side by side battles a little bit farther back in the pack as we look back at Steven Fernberg behind all this mess. Casey Big Bacon right in front of Sebastian in the 21 car. Fernberg trying to get underneath Chris Sebastian but doesn't have the mustard this time. Patrick Spangler trying to make it work as they're almost going three wide coming out of turn number four. Bacon comes out with the advantage that time. Chris Sebastian throws it back to the top. Bought back up a little bit farther. Matty Groke in that two car. Right behind Jonathan Lee in that Dynamite Dodmeyer car. Trying to gain another spot. Sitting at six right now. These guys are doing everything they can with the track conditions the way they are. A lot of them are using the top, but some are choosing to use that bottom. We'll see if it works out for them. Bacon surrenders that spot to both Thomas Mitchell and Chris Sebastian that time. Chris drops it back down to the bottom, trying to get underneath Thomas, but not enough this time. Matty Crook tracking down Jonathan Lee in that 13 car. Grant Wesley under attack from Robert Satterfield in that 55 car. Robert down low, able to slide up in front of him, take that spot away from Grant Wesley this time. Devin Butts still holding on to that second spot behind your leader, Kenny Miller, in that 23 car. Grant Wesley losing a little bit of time. Jonathan Lee gaining on him each and every lap. These guys are doing a lot of business. As our leader is now into lap traffic, Greg Chandler right in front of our leader now. It looks like our leader's also got around to see Ricky Bobby Embus too. Kenny Miller trying to make the highlight work, and we got a caution on the speedway. It looks like Patrick Spangler might be at the fault for this one. That's Greg Chandler. We're not looking at him this time. Here's Patrick in that four car. Coming down the back stretch, kind of all by himself right now. Oh, Bacon loses it. Oh, what a rough deal there. Bacon got loose. Patrick had nowhere to go. Runs right into the back of him, loses that nose wing. Able to keep it on all four, though, so he'll be able to run it into the pits, get that car fixed up, hopefully get a new wing on it, get it back out on the track, stay, stay in competition. Your leader still, Kenny Miller in that 23M car. Devin Butts thinking of what he can do to try and have anything for our leader. Definitely going to be interesting. These guys are going to have, looks to be, yep, that's more like it, 10 laps to go. And when they come back to the line, going to get interesting, y'all. A lot of cars still on the track tonight. Looks like on the lead lap, we got 18 cars as of right now. Salvage back into 18th now. A little bit of a rough go for some of these guys, but a lot of guys are still out on the track. A lot of guys are still very competitive. Caution lights out on the pace truck. We're going green flag racing next time. What is Devin going to do? Is he going to have enough to get around our leader, Kenny Miller? Right on him. On that go pedal. We're back. Green flag green, racing. Green. Kenny drops it down to the bottom. Gets a nice run coming out of the corner. Out to about a three tenths of a second lead over top of second place, Devin Butts. Devin falls back a little bit. Robert Satterfield is hiding right in third there, waiting for his moment to strike. His. Jonathan Lee is trying to get around Grant Wesley, but opens the door for Matty Croak in that two car. Side by side, coming out of turn number two. Advantage Wesley this time. Jonathan Lee falls back into that fifth spot. Matty Croak hunting around in sixth place. He wants a top five finish this evening. Is he going to have enough to get around Jonathan Lee in that dynamite machine? As of right now, able to yellow, keep it under yellow, control. Yellow. It looks like we got another caution on the speedway. 
Looks like it's going to be Jason Hayes in that Logan Shoehart machine. Coming on turn number four. Gets a little wiggly. Gets into three. Greg Chandler underneath him. Oh, that looks to be a little bit on Greg Chandler there. We'll see what race control calls it. I have a feeling Greg Chandler is going to receive an EOL for that one, but we'll see. Here at Red River Valley I Racing League, we understand bumping is all part of dirt track racing, but intentional and stuff that could be avoided, that should be avoided, you will get penalized for it. We try and keep it as legit and as real as possible, but we do the best we can on I Racing. Tonight, Big Bacon and C. Ricky Bobby Ambus running race control in the race cars themselves. Trying to keep these guys in line as we get them lined back up here for another restart. When they come back to the line, it's going to be, I do believe, six laps to go. These guys are doing everything they can. Looks like Caleb Durgan might be getting pushed back. Or no, he's getting just getting back in the line where he's supposed to be here. Going to get interesting, y'all. Pace shark pulls off. Kenny Miller going to be looking for the green fabric. There he green, is coming green, out green. of turn number four. Drops it down to the bottom again. Quite consistent for Kenny Miller coming out of turn number three there. Able to get that lead and hold on to it so far. Jonathan Lee trying to find his spot to make a move on Grant Wesley in that 88 car. I don't know if he's going to have enough time. Five to go. Oh, we got a little bit of contact. Chance Gazowski, and it looks like was Thomas Mitchell getting into each other a little bit. Able to keep it under control. We stay green. Chance Gazowski making the high line work. Thomas gets a little loose coming out of turn number four. Able to keep it under control. Holds onto that spot. Chance throws it down to the bottom. Slides up. Thomas says, nope, not this time. Holds onto that spot. Chance throws it to the bottom. Slide job up in front of Thomas Mitchell. Oh, Sebastian comes yellow, up. Yellow. Oh, no. Sebastian wasn't completely clear, comes up on Mitchell, gets into him a little bit, brings out the caution flag. He was trying to cut the corner just a little bit too much. Rough go of it there, but Sebastian spins himself out off of Thomas Mitchell's bumper. All right, y'all. When they come back to the green, it's going to be lap 29. Going to be two laps to go in our feature event this evening. Been a lot of cautions tonight. We do apologize for that. But these guys are still learning to run with each other a little bit. We still give them 30 minutes of practice time. Trying to kind of get used to everyone's driving styles, driving strategies. But pace lights are out on the pace truck for our leader, Kenny Miller, in that 23 car. Gonna be going back green flag racing this time. Gonna be two to go. Your top five as of right now, Kenny Miller, your leader, Devin Butt second, Robert Serfield third, Grant Wesley fourth, and Jonathan Lee in fifth. And it looks like we're gonna stay yellow here. Caution lights out this time. We're gonna go green flag racing next time by, I do apologize. Getting everyone lined up, keeping everyone in their place. Trying to keep everyone to, uh, Keeping them on their toes here as we get them ready to rock and roll once again. Kenny Miller, is he going to have enough to hold on to that lead? He's got Devin Butts right behind him and Robert Satterfield, a teammate of his, coming real fast. Green flag out. We're back. Green flag racing with the twisted 360s. Kenny Miller out to that lead in that 23M car, able to hold on to it, but under attack is Devin Butts in that second spot. Robert Satterfield looking to for a chance to attack and steal that second place spot. White flag in the air, one to go for this feature event at Lernerville Speedway. Getting raised, Jonathan Lee throws it way down to the bottom. Robert Satterfield not enough to get around Devin Butts this time. Jonathan Lee able to get into that fourth spot. Looks like Grant Wesley had an issue as the checker flag comes out for your winner, Kenny Miller in that 23M car. Quite the show these boys put on for these guys. It was definitely interesting to watch. Sadly, there was a lot of cautions during this race. But we all know sometimes there's some nights where there's a lot of cautions and sometimes there's not. 
Looked like someone chopped and I was, ah, I guess, I don't know. That's not the way I saw it there, Ross, but I could be wrong. Again, ladies and gentlemen, your winner going to be Kenny Miller in that 23M machine. His teammate Robert Satterfield coming on third and then second Devin Butts in that 13 machine. Kenny Miller going to pull up onto the top of the winner's circle. We'll try and get our winner in here for a post-race interview. These guys put on a hell of a show the best that they can. Kenny Miller dominated this race throughout the entire time, so... We'll see here. Try and get... Got Robert sitting back waiting. We'll see if we can give our leader a quick second to get in here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I think we're going to go ahead and start off with Robert Satterfield. All right, nope, there's our winner now, Kenny Miller. Kenny Miller hops into the Discord here. Kenny, you have won the race. First time out with the Red River Valley iRacing League during the season. Congrats on your first win for the season. You were dominant there. Walk me through those last co or a couple laps as Devin Butts was right behind you. Yeah, it was just kind of a spur of the moment deal to hop in this thing, and glad we did. Got picked up a win. Um, yeah, I felt really good there pretty much the whole race, and um, just just try to keep it on on the racetrack those last couple of laps and try not to go over. Definitely did a hell of a show. You were in command pretty much the entire time. These guys had a hard time keeping up with you. It was great to watch. No, we had a lot of cautions, but you're able to keep it under control and still keep that consistent pace. Congratulations on that again, my man. Well, who you want to give a good shout out to for your first place finish tonight, my man? Um, Got to thank everyone at Phantom Motorsports, um, Velocity Race Designs, Power Outdoors, and Michael Sportswear um, for helping us out. Uh, we do appreciate each and every one of you guys coming out tonight. You put on a hell of a show. Congratulations again, my man. We look forward to seeing you in the upcoming weeks. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get second place Devin Butts up into the booth here. Devin, my man, how are we doing? Second place tonight, but it's still a strong finish for you. Walk me through those closing laps. Well, the track was actually uh, ship shaping up pretty good there. We were doing so many pace laps. I think we wore it in real nice. And there was a top line. I think there might have been something on the bottom middle, but I was too afraid to try it because could have went backwards there. A big old Rob was coming in. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Robert Satterfield making his way up through the field this evening was right behind you. He was trying to get past you on those closing laps. We just didn't quite have enough on the bottom side. You were able to hold on to that second place spot. Definitely a great show. Do you want to give anyone a thank and a shout out for your second place finish tonight, my man? Yeah, definitely went better than last week getting uh getting that net code and then EOL bounced back to uh <clears throat> fourth, I think, last week. So I gotta give hats off to everyone in the league putting this on. It's a blast to uh to run this. And I definitely have to thank my wife for for allowing me to do it because we had a kid this week and she's dealing with that right now, letting me get on here to race with you guys. Um, also thank everyone for uh, broadcasting you guys and everything. And uh, Brad O'Brien for helping me out. We made a ton of changes this week um, with the wheel and the set and everything else. And Thomas Mitchell for the, for the collab. Really appreciate collabing with him every week. It's been a blast. Well, you guys definitely put on a hell of a show. Congratulations again now on a new father also on top of a second place finish. Congrats, my man. And we do, do want to give your wife a good shout out for letting you join us this evening. We're glad to have you. We look forward to seeing you again next week, my man. Buddy, we'll see you then. Awesome, awesome. All right, y'all. Third place, Robert Satterfield. We're going to get him up into the booth here, get his last words. He's been pretty much a regular in the top three podium picture this uh, throughout the entire season so far. Robert, my man, you put on a hell of a show each and every week. I mean, God, it's just consistency, my man. You're, you're the king of it. Well, I usually do pretty good at the consistency part of it. I'd like to get a little bit more wins, but. You know, it doesn't matter where I start. Most most of the time, if I dodge the wrecks, I'll end up in the top five. Well, you definitely are putting on one hell of a show each and every single week, man. Walk me through those last closing laps there. I know you're throwing it down to the bottom, but what was just not enough grip down coming out of a corner exit? Or Walk me through that. 
Well, I was really good in one and two. I could get through the corners. I could keep the car straight and get a good run going down into three and four. But I think that I didn't set the car up enough rotation for three and four to get the car set like I want coming off the corner. And, um, man, I just couldn't get it. I couldn't get it to do what I wanted it to do. And I got butts in front of me, which is really good guy, really clean driver. You know, I don't want to do nothing that to jeopardize his run or mine either. But, you know, I wasn't going to throw no bad sliders or nothing like that, knowing that my car is not good in that car. If I could have got him, I would have got him in one and two. But he was carrying enough enough speed to where I, I could pull up beside him several times. I just – I couldn't complete the pass because I couldn't get it done in three and four, get him get him boxed out a little bit. But uh, you, know, you, you definitely – you definitely put on a hell of a show for these guys tonight. No, there was a lot of cautions, but you guys really held out there, especially you top three. It was great to watch. We want to thank you for coming out. Who else you want to give a shout out for your third place finish this evening, my man? Uh, I want to thank all my teammates over there at Phantom Motorsports, Velocity Race Designs for doing our paints, and we appreciate Power Outdoor for being our sponsor. Appreciate y'all for putting the league on and big bacon for the broadcast. Oh, most definitely, most definitely more than happy to. We're glad to see you each and every single week. I know the crowd is as well. They all enjoy watching you guys battle it out. Awesome to watch each and every week, man. Thank you very much for being here, and congratulations again on top three. Appreciate it, man. We have a blast. All righty, man. We'll catch you next week as we head to Fairbury. Hopefully you're ready for that. We got... Top three again is going to be Kenny Miller going to be coming home. Your winner, Devin Butt second, and Robert Satterfield coming home third. Looks like we got old Big Bacon up here in the booth too, my man. What happened tonight? Woo, shit, was slick out there. There was drivers everywhere. It was crazy, man. It was, uh, there was one spot checked up. People behind it check up, put me towards the back. And then uh, that one part where I caused the caution, one in a turn three, good. But when she set, the back end kicked all the way. I had to get on the brakes not to go off the track. Sorry for uh, Steve there. I scared. And then I think someone clipped me. So apologize about that. It was fun. Uh, a lot of cautions there in the beginning. Kind of expect we had 20 plus cars on a track. And when we were single file, I almost took up half the track. So congrats to everybody keeping their cool. Um, it was fun. It was I, mean, I know people are happy it's over with because this is a track. <laughs> Very difficult. Well, with no rear wall on any of the corners or the backstretch, it adds a whole different animal into the racing complexion of this entire deal. So these guys did the best they could. It was awesome to watch, including you. We kept our eye on you, old bacon. We know that you were normally up in the booth. Had to go watch the big man race, see how he does. Sadly, we caught you on one of those parts where you got into the caution there. I'm glad I'm here to entertain. <laughs> In the booth, you did a great job as well. I appreciate you, wild man, doing what you do on a daily basis. Well, thank you again to you, NC, Ricky, Bobby, for the help with the race control. I could not do without you guys. Glad to do all this with you. Look forward to going on to next week. Fairbury, my man, we're going back short track racing. Are we going to be ready for that? If there's walls. So, I'm yeah, I'm excited. I'll be up back in the booth with you. We can watch down have a couple laughs together. And uh, hopefully, uh, you know, one less gosh and with bacon out. Not on. <laughs> <laughs> well we look forward to seeing you next week and whatnot in the booth we got hrh motorsports dirt street stocks in the cool rag super late model is going to be hitting fairbury next friday night uh eight o'clock eastern seven central is start for the dirt street stocks make sure you guys tune back in it's gonna be wild it's gonna be fun it's gonna sizzle as bacon would always say hopefully i'll be back to catch both races that time Get a good stream in for each and every one of you guys coming out each week to cheer on these guys as they show you what they got on a virtual dirt track. But either way, your final results for our feature race at Learnerville Speedway for the Twisted 360 Sprint Cars. Your winner again, Kenny Miller in that 23M machine coming in second, Devin Butts. Had a hell of a go. These guys definitely battled it out there for a while. Devin fell back a little bit, but not a whole heck of a lot. He still had the com er, competition to deal with, but they definitely put on a great show. Robert Satterfield coming home third. Jonathan Lee fourth. and for, er, A new HRH member coming in strong for Lernerville this week. Hell of a job. Great to see him out there. And awesome to see Dynamite Dodd Myers paint scheme out on the track for the Red River Valley I Racing League. 
Chance Kozowski coming on fifth. Thomas B. Mitchell sixth. Steven Fernberg seventh. Grant Wesley falls back to eighth after having a top five run the entire race. Must have had a rough go at the last lap there. Going to be Matty Croak coming up ninth in that two machine. Caleb Durgan, 10th. Patrick Spangler going to be uh, finishing 11th. Tyler Vandekamp, 12th. Chad Cote, 13th. Casey Big Bacon Savage coming on 14th. Jamie McCarron falls back to 15th. Greg Chandler, 16th. Chris Sebaske coming home 17th. And then finishing up 18th, Jason Hayes in that Le Heart machine. Chris C. Ricky Bobby Amba is going to be coming home 19th. That 24K card. Dalton Hayden in 989 coming home 20th. Ross Cornetta was out there for a little while. Looks like he pulled off the track. Must have had some issues this evening. Robert Shurek going to be finishing 22nd. Jason Gunnell is going to be finishing out the 23 car field. These guys definitely put on one hell of a show. Again, we really do want to thank each and every single one of you guys for coming out and supporting these guys, cheering them on as they do what they can on a dirt track. Thankfully, the for now... We're done with tracks that don't have walls at some points in, or throughout the speedway. Now, next season, there's going to be two. iRacing just announced not too long ago they are bringing out Cedar Lake Speedway, which is over in Wisconsin for all you guys that don't follow the NOS Energy Drink World of Outlaw series. It is another track that does not have walls around the entire rest of the track except for the front stretch. That will be on next season. Along with the big block modifieds. Hopefully you guys are excited about that. I definitely am. I'm excited to move on to next week with the Fairbury Speedway with these HRH Dirt Street Stocks. Again, starting 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 Central, followed by the Core Egg. Super Late Model is going to be coming out around 9.45, 9.30. Depending on everyone's time zone, we'll be certain to put a post up about that a little bit later. But then... Next Saturday night, same time, same place, Fairbury Speedway, the Twisted 360s hit the track at 9 Eastern. Make sure you guys tune back in again next week. We're looking forward to seeing each and every one of you guys as we go throughout the season here. Next week, round number 5 of 13 for the Red River Valley I Racing League. Looking forward to this stuff. Big news, big plans coming up in the future. Make sure you guys hit that follow page on the Red River Valley iRacing Facebook page. Also, check out Big Bacon Media, Big Bacon Gaming, C. Ricky Bobby Ambus, and, of course, myself, Wild Man Wyatt Gaming. For all future notifications with the Red River Valley iRacing League, you will have them there. Make sure you guys check it out. Stay in farm. We look forward to seeing you next week. Again, keep it wild. Make it sizzle. And for old C. Ricky, Bobby, Imbus, where are the chicken wings? Good night, y'all. We'll see you next week. Oh.